Don't you hear this old school joint? Don't you ever touch my spirit? Prince's album Musicology is something of a footnote in his otherworldly career. This was 2004 and he was on his 28th studio album, but it actually did pretty well on the charts and also earned a couple of Grammy awards. What was unique was that he chose not to record in Minneapolis. Instead, he came to Metalworks Studio in Mississauga near Toronto. Daily Vice spoke to the owner who played host to Prince. Prince would have been walking through these halls quite a bit. Yeah, this was, uh, you know, the way back to Studio 6, which is his favorite um, studio. And what kind of experience was it to, to, to have Prince here? Did he bring a sort of energy to the place? No, he's actually very, very low key. So, you know, he's, he's not a partier, you know, there's no, it doesn't carry a big entourage and uh, he's very private. So he's actually uh, very low key in the studio and very, very friendly. How involved was he in the production? He's more involved in the production than any other artist I've, I've seen. So, for example, he auditioned the studio on multiple occasions. He came here three separate times, brought all his tapes, you know, had to listen to, you know, would stay in one studio for two or three hours just listening to the studio. But he was that much of a perfectionist. When he actually was working uh, in Studio 6 here, which was the room that he did most of the work in, uh, he also did some things that were uh, unusual for an artist. He set up a big subwoofer system to make it sound like a nightclub. He said, I need something to emulate a nightclub. And it was just an effect. He doesn't listen like that all the time. That was, that was quite unique. The other thing that I thought was very uh, unusual was that he would like to actually operate the board himself. He'd say, okay, leave me alone for an hour. And, you know, uh, they'd be out in the, in, in the kitchen or the lounge or something and you'd see them and you'd, you'd know they were working with Prince, but they weren't even in the room. And it would be, you know, well, you know Prince, you know, he's, he's got it dialed in and he's, he's got a hot thing going. He just wants to keep going for about an hour by himself. Yeah. So that was very, very unusual. I think that Prince's uh, shyness, um, you know, sometimes was mistaken for aloofness. And I think some of his perfectionism was sometimes mistaken for um, being caught up in his own ideas or something. I think he was, he was very, you know, giving with his um, sharing of his ideas, I think, with the people that he worked with, the musicians and the engineers. They all said that about him. And, uh, but he was really, really always trying to hit the home run. He was always, the brass ring was right there. And, he was just trying to figure out a way to keep, you know, going back after it time after time. And uh, that was that true art artistic focus, you know, the, the Edison principle. He was in, he, when he was working on his music, he was trying to invol inv inv invent a light bulb, you know, a musical light bulb, I think. And, uh, you know, it's just such a shame that he was cut down so early. It's just uh, shocking. This is just another one of God's music, musicology.